tell you what I could have going on here. You know I have my muscles. I have my knife, my scissors. I have my fork. And I have a bowl here, a little plastic bowl. And I have some plastic in here sitting right next to me. And I'm just going to drop my uh, shells and everything in there. But guys, I'm going to start eating right away because my muscles are getting cold. Uh, I had to set up, guys. I'm moving that around here. Mm, man, are these good. Look at these. Look at these mussels. This is the way I love cooking mine. Look at that garlic on there, okay? Look at that. See? That's the way I like to make mine. Look. Mm. They are so delicious. Mmm. If you like garlic, look at it. I have my juice in the bottom of here. <laughs> That's the way you eat them. And then I have some garlic bread. Look at her. That's a little piece of garlic on there. No, that's a little piece of crab bread. Little, gar little garlic bread I put together is actually ciabatta bread, and then I buttered it and garlic did it up. Mm. Guys, yes. Quick lunch. Got one you have anything in it. But look at the outside. <laughs> it's a treasure right there. And I know a lot of people eat this part. To me, it's tough. I don't like that. Some people eat that I don't. Look at this. Look at that. When I tell you, this was a quick lunch. Grandpa Karma decided he wanted some muscles. So, my daughter had bought these and they were in the freezer because we can't find, in them, find them anymore at our Walmart. That's where I used to always get my muscles. And all of a sudden, they stopped selling them. Look at them. Mm. This is so good. I know when my daughter comes home, I'm going to have to make her some. Mmm, that juice is so good. Guys, these are kind of an afterthought. They are so tiny. Um, when my daughter bought the mussels, <clears throat> she wanted some crab legs. And unfortunately, um, this is all they had. So we have to go to a different spot to get, you know, halfway decent crab legs. And this was out of town. Oh. The small ones are, seem like sometimes they're harder to open. This one is really hard to open. Sometimes it seems like they're harder to open and then there's less meat in there. See, I'm not going to fight with that, guys. I can't. Not when I got these delicious muscles in front of me. But here's part of the crab legs. Mmm. Tell me that. They are delicious. They're really good, but so small. Who wants small crab legs? Especially after you've had the kings. <laughs> I think that spoils you too. Look at that.
Mm. So tender. So easy to make at home, guys. I don't know if I'll... <clears throat> Good. There's any more meat on this. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys the, my quick and easy recipe and delicious recipe. I'll check <clears throat> and then maybe on a, the next time I have them, I'll uh, record it. See, this is too hard for me, guys. I have trouble with my hands, and I cannot deal with that. But I want some so bad. <laughs> but I don't have the strength to just crack them. Yeah, see? Don't have that strength. That's See how easy it's to open, but for me it's not easy because of my hands. That's why I need the big ones. I can crack them. They're softer shell, seem like. And I can get right to the meat. So, I really wanted to share the uh, mussels with you guys anyway. But when Thomas saw the crab legs in there, I'm going to save those for my daughter. When Thomas saw the crab legs in there, he said, Oh, hey, throw some crab legs on in there. Huh? I was like, okay. But my video is really about mm, these crab legs. I mean, my video is really about uh, these delicious mussels. <laughs> and the juice. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tell you how I make it. I take the green onion. Mmm. Some so good, you don't really want to wash your hands off. <laughs> mm. Guys, that's delicious. I have water. So let me tell you how I make it. So quick and easy. Mm. If I can stop eating long enough. Ooh, a little kick there, guys. Let me show you my bread, you know? Mm. So, I use chicken broth in here. Obey Tony Cashier's um, chili powder, garlic powder. All kinds of goodies. And the, the long green onion. I forget the technical name for them, but I cut that up. First, I put that in a pot with uh, a little chicken broth and a little water. Start putting my seasonings in there to get that good old juices going. Because these mussels only take six to seven minutes. It's all the chips and from frozen. Mm -hmm. I would love to have the green lip mussels. I've seen some folks eating those. I bet they are very good. <clears throat> I've never had those. I haven't seen any place where I can get them, but if I do, I'm going to make sure to get some. So, this is much. Muscles are not expensive. Look at that with the onion on it. Can you see that? Mmm. Mm, muscle. Look, I said I don't like that part there. I know somebody will think I'm wasting. Look at that. 
Mm. I said, you know what? I'm gonna share this lunch with my karma babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you like me, you can eat a lot of muscles. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary guy. I didn't even say did I say welcome to my channel <laughs> I don't think I did it I think I sat down and I said I gotta go ahead and eat because my food's getting cold <laughs> excuse my manners once again excuse them you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you forget those things. My food was getting cold. Usually I have it on a, a heater, but I don't know if today I wanted presentation. I want you guys to really see it really good. And I came to my area that I normally, that I did the color greens in, um, and my, my little thing that I put together, you know, you put this to hold your, uh, what do you call it? Like a tripod, like the ones that are malleable, but this one is, is gone. When I try to bend it now, it just pops out. I need one of those really, see there? Look at that. I need one of those really big, thick, heavy ones that I see uh, YouTubers using made like this but they're really thick and heavy and then I could put my camera on it also but it's, it'll be firm and it'll hold it um, so I had to set up something totally different but I think you got I think it's working out really well so nothing lost because if you can't figure out how to do something one way what do you do karma babies What's our motto? One of our mottos. A very simple one. One door closes, another one opens. Sometimes in life you have to close a door in order to benefit from your future. You do. Sometimes you have to change not only habits sometimes people in your life especially when you're young guys when you're young you're just meeting people all that garbage just deciding who's going to be in your life, who's not going to be in your life. Most of those people you're meeting in school, so they're just there, they're in your life. But once you get out of school, guys, I'm telling you, then you decide. And it's not always an easy decision. Because people are in your life for different reasons. Different people are in there sometimes for different reasons. Mm. Believe you, I was eating this before we started because I had to taste them. Of course. <laughs> they are so good. Yeah. Up there. I think these are almost like some of the best mussels that I've ever made. Oh my goodness. I know my daughter is going to want some of these. I don't think I can post this until I make her some. 
so I think I'll make her some this evening when she comes home from work. So quick and easy. That's what I'll make them for dinner, mussels. I actually have some <clears throat> corn on the cob. I'll throw in there. I didn't want any. She can have the, um, okay. She can have the, um, crab legs. She's young. Good hands. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stop in a few minutes once I finish my bread. I love it. It's sabalta. I think it's Kribalta bread. I'm not sure. Guys, I know what it looks like. I go to the store and pick it up. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know the names. Mm. Mm. I tell you, these mussels are amazing. Mm. I'm telling you, they are amazing. I'm going to leave a little bit to tempt her. And I ask her, do you want me to make you some? <laughs> mm. These are some empty shells. These are not like the ones, like I said, that I usually get from Walmart. They're very good. But the shells seem to break very easily. The shell's very thin. I don't know. I have to do some research to see what that's about. But guys, I enjoyed my time with you guys. And just remember how others treat you. And guys, remember how others treat you is their karma. That's their karma. The way that they treat you, that's their karma. You can't do anything about it. You can't change it, alter it, you know, explain it. That's their karma. But how you respond to how they treat you, how you respond to the situation, that's your karma. So babies, until the next video, I love you. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. I always forget to ask, but you guys know I want you to subscribe and become part of the Karma family. Guys, until the next video, bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.